2020 was a hot attraction for culture and unity for India. Celebrating the culture, Ministry of Culture hosts Rewind, Rejoice, Reboot and Reimagine event, celebrating the success of the culture working group under India's G20 presidency. Embracing the theme Vasudev Kutumbakam, the glory at the event was brought by Shri Arjun Ram Meghwal, Minister of Law and Justice India and Shri Mati Minakshi Lekhi, Minister of External Affairs. Let's give you a quick wrap of the event. One Earth, One Family, One Future. Let's have a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That was a recap of the wonderful journey of the Culture Working Group under India's G20 Presidency. And with that, it is now my privilege and my honor to invite on stage the Honorable Minister of Law and Justice, Government of India, and Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs and Culture, Sri Arjun Ram Meghwalji, to kindly join us on the day, sir. May I please invite you to join us? I'd also like to invite Sri Amitabh Kant, G20 Sherpa, India. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause as we invite the Honorable Minister, Sri Arjun Ram Meghwalji. Namaskar, sir. Thank you for gracing this occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, we will also be shortly graced by the Honorable Union Minister for Culture, Tourism and Development of Northeast Region, Sri G. Kishan Reddy Ji, who is on his way. And we will also be joined by Honorable Minister of State for External Affairs and Culture, Sri Mati Minakshi Lekhi Ji. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we begin with the proceedings, over the course of the year, a robust calendar of exhibitions Immersive experiences, performances, seminars, workshops, and publications were developed to engage with the culture working group priorities such as protection and restitution of cultural property, harnessing living heritage for a sustainable future, promotion of culture and creative industries and creative economy, and leveraging digital technologies for the protection and promotion of culture in depth and more meaningfully. These projects in various sectors over the past decade, including digital payment transactions, national highway construction, satellite launch systems, etc. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to play for you a few glimpses from the film of this project. Let's take a look. The Greeks were visitors to India from over 2,500 years ago. Medisthenes, the Greek ambassador to the Mauryan court, observed that most of the cities adopted a democratic form of governance. Historian Diodorus Siculus noted that the Indians dwelt in cities in which the democratic form of governance prevailed. The Greeks observed the absence of slavery in India. In the era of the Ganatantra, or republics, the Ganapramukh head was elected by the people, and the Ganas assembly came together in the central assembly. The Bodh Sangha council had clear rules for election of the leader. In the Vedas, the oldest texts in continuous use worldwide, there is frequent mention of the Sabha, Samiti, and Sansat, each a representative body. Numerous inscriptions around the country speak of selection of leaders with people's participation. With this ethos, India has proudly emerged as a democracy. The Independent Election Commission ensures that every citizen of India can vote. Booths have been set up in the Gay Forest where there are more lions than voters. And the world's highest voting booth is on the Siachen Glacier. With such innovations as indelible ink, the electronic voting machine, and the voter verified paper audit trail. India today is the most vibrant democracy on the planet. The exhibition was officially launched on September 9th at the National Gallery of Modern Art during the Spouses Program for the Leaders Summit in New Delhi. And here are some glimpses from the project, ladies and gentlemen, Roots and Roots exhibition.
Family One Future. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I call on stage Dr. B. R. Mani, Director General, National Museum; Dr. Sanjeev Kishore Gautam, Director General, National Gallery of Modern Art; Sri Ariji Dutta Chaudhary, Director General, National Council of Science Museums. I request you to please join us on stage for the launch of the Roots and Roots Catalogue, and I request uh, the Honourable Minister, uh, G20 Sherpa, and Secretary Culture. to please now launch the catalog for roots and roots we'd also like to acknowledge sri dadavendra singh curator uh, he's not present here with us today we go to like acknowledge and thank ms abha lamba for organizing this spouses event for the leaders summit that's such a huge round of applause for them Ladies and gentlemen, the next national project is the exhibition Woven Narratives, and the exhibition Woven Narratives highlighted the third priority of the Culture Working Group, which is the promotion of cultural and creative industries and the creative economy. Woven Narratives explored the significance of Indian handlooms in the country's cultural and creative economy, and the curated textile exhibits showcase the diverse geography and unique ecological contexts of India, while also highlighting the historical and design features of each piece. And these handwoven textiles served as metaphors for both national identities and the recognition of shared global cultures. The exhibition was organized by the Ministry of Culture Government of India and was supported by the JSW Foundation. Allow me to play some glimpses of the project Woven Narratives. and now ladies and gentlemen we will witness the launch of the catalog and the online version of the exhibition may i invite on stage shrimati lekha podar co-founder devi art foundation and shri mayank man singh call the curators may i invite you to please join us on stage as i now request there they are i request the honorable minister g20 sherpa and secretary culture to please launch the catalog and the online version of the woven narratives exhibition and we thank shrimati sangeeta jindal chairperson jsw foundation for support in the exhibition woven narratives and many special thanks to mr kk gopala krishnan director south zonal cultural center ladies and gentlemen can we have a huge round of applause for mr kk gopala krishnan and we thank shrimati sangeeta jindal chairperson jsw foundation as well Thank you very much, Shri Mayank Man Singh Kaur, and.
special thanks to Mr. K.K. Gopalakrishnan, Director South Cultural Zonal Center, uh, South Zonal Cultural Center, as well as Srimati Sangeeta Jindal, Chairperson, JSW Foundation, for her support in this exhibition, Woven Narratives. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there was uh, Culture Unites All Canvas at uh, the Culture Working Group meeting at Kajurao. So uh, the Culture Unites All Canvas was created on the occasion of the first Culture Working Group meeting at Kajurao, where delegates from the G20 members and invitee countries came together on a shared platform and scribed Culture Unites All in their respective native languages, an expression of a united voice and shared ambition. And this led to the launch of Culture Unites All, a hallmark campaign of the Culture Working Group under India's G20 presidency, which highlighted India's unwavering belief in multilateralism based on peaceful coexistence amongst diverse cultures and communities. Ladies and gentlemen, here are very special glimpses from the project. Let's take a look. Shri Paresh Maiti, the artist, and may I request Shri Govind Mohan, Secretary of Culture, and Ms. Lili Pandey, Joint Secretary, Ministry of Culture, to please join us on stage to present the Culture Unites All canvas to our G20 Sherpa, Shri Amitabh Kant. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the Culture Unites All canvas which we present to our G20 Sherpa Shri Amitabh Kant, who has been a driving force in making G20 a grand success, giving India's G20 the direction that has enabled the entire world to sit up and take notice of India's leadership on a global platform. A big round of applause emanating from the audience will only add to the warmth, so I request you to please get your hands together for this beautiful Culture Unites All canvas for our eminent dignitaries and for all of you ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. All these projects position the Culture Working Group's hallmark campaign, Culture Unites All, to reiterate the immense potential of culture in uniting people and communities and fostering multilateralism, mutual respect and understanding. The making of the Culture Corridor was a result of a tremendous coordinated effort and concerted action. In a short span of nine months, the G20 Digital Museum developed through an open and inclusive dialogue with the participating nations. Over thousands of phone calls, emails, bilateral meetings and presentations, intra and intergovernmental levels and with various foreign missions, embassies, institutions, agencies and individuals from across 29 countries brought this ambitious project to fruition. This massive global partnership saw its culmination at the G20 Leaders Summit in New Delhi in September 2023 with the opening of the Culture Corridor exhibition. And uh, these international projects include four initiatives, Global Music Initiative, Contemporary Visual Art Initiative, Museum Initiative and Literary Initiative. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, under India's G20 presidency, uh, we'll let's start with the first international project the legacy of the G20 Orchestra, ladies and gentlemen, which has been carried forward by Sur Vasudha, conceptualized by the Ministry of Culture, Government of India. Sur Vasudha, or a treasure trove of melodies, celebrated the rich musical knowledge and heritage of the G20 community. 
This orchestra showcased different musical disciplines and instruments from various traditions with a total of 61 musicians and vocalists from India and 41 from G20 members and invitee countries. The orchestra brought to life the unique textures and sounds of their respective homelands and Sur Vasudha served as a collaborative platform for musicians from the G20 community promoting inclusivity, diversity and dialogue through the universal language of music. And this choir symbolized the spirit of Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam, a celebration of all living beings on earth as one family. The G20 Orchestra Sur Vasudha made its grand debut at the Culture Minister's meeting in Varanasi on 26th August 2023. The launch of Sur Vasudha on Spotify marks a significant milestone in bringing the symphony of global harmony to a worldwide audience by making Sur Vasudha accessible on Spotify, listeners from every corner of the globe can experience the rich tapestry of melodies that this orchestra offers and this initiative highlights India's commitment to cultural diversity under its G20 presidency by leveraging digital technologies for the promotion of culture. Ladies and gentlemen, here are some glimpses of Sur Vasudha. Request the Honorable Minister Sherpa G20 and Secretary of Culture to please launch the e catalog and the online version of the exhibition Sustain the Craft EDM.
Ladies and gentlemen, if we could add some music in the form of our applause. Thank you very much. And this accomplishment was made possible by the collaboration of over 450 talented Lambani women artisans and cultural practitioners from Sandur Kaushal Kala Kendra. They skillfully used GI tagged Sandur Lambani embroidery to create these items and the mesmerizing display titled Threads of Unity showcased the exquisite artistry and design language of Lambani embroidery. Exhibited here is a textile display titled Threads of Unity created from the patches which were a part of the Guinness World Record. Uh, if you look at uh, uh, stage right, ladies and gentlemen, which is my left, uh, this display celebrates our living heritage and shared artistic and cultural linkages with the rest of the world as it stands as a testament to the power of unity, diversity, interconnectedness, and the harmonious coexistence amongst culture encapsulating the essence of Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, here is a very, very special uh, uh, glimpse from the Guinness World Record, which uh, was established in uh, uh, Humpy on July 10, 2023. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, family. here is One the trailer family. for the international project, Together We Art. Shrimati Minakshi Lekhi Ji. We now request you, ma'am, to please grace the days. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring the Honorable Minister of State for External Affairs and Culture, Shrimati Minakshi Lekhi Ji, with a round of applause. Let's welcome her. Namaskar. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you so much for gracing this occasion. Secretary of Culture, Mr. Govind Mohan Singh Ji, uh, Amitabh Ji, Sherpa Ji 20, Lili Pandey Ji. I can see many right in front. We have Mr. Nagarajan Ji from MEA. We have uh, Sandhya Purecha Ji. Uh, we have Priyanka Chandra. We have Amita. We have other Priyanka. We have Joshi Ji. Thank you all for being such a wonderful team and recognizing the effort of each and every one, whole lot of you I have not been able to name, but I recognize the fact that the Ministry of Culture and Tensila, uh, we all work like a team and the impact when the team works is put together, all the things are strung together, is obviously very, very different than when individually we try and outshine the others. The outshining process is the outshining process of India, and that's what Ministry of External Affairs and Culture could do that showcase 
uh, the culture of India. And when we said Vasudev Kutumbakam, Vasudev Kutumbakam is again not just uh, a letter from Mahaprishad, but it has the complete shlokas. Aham nijam paru veti karna lagu chet sam udar charita nam tu vasudev kutumbakam. This is mine, that is yours, this is his, this is us. Is only the job of small hearted people. The large hearted people encompass it all. And I'm grateful to the Ministry of Culture and, of course, External Affairs for encompassing not just the whole of India, but whole of the globe in many forms. And G20 was an occasion to showcase who all and what all we are, and especially when the vibrancy of India can be tested. The best is through the historical narratives that we are making uh, throughout the public memory, people's memory, has played a great role in transmitting knowledge, in transmitting history, in transmitting the work, the skills, and that's what Indian culture has been all about. I must uh, speak from this podium and say that two very special initiatives which touched my heart, one was Culture Unites All, and when Culture Unites All is something that we all understand, the power of culture, people say soft power. I will say soft power with a lot of hard work. And that hard work is showcased during G20 with every event, with every culture working group. The Ministry of Culture was standing side by side with all those groups in terms of performances, in terms of exhibitions, taking people around, putting the element of tourism, putting the element of uh, museums. And that is where we could showcase that culture unites not only the diverse forms of culture in India, which is as it is united, but across the globe, if we, if we continue to see, we also get to know that, uh, we also get to know that how similar we are when superficially we all look different. Uh, not only in India, but across the globe. And in addition to this aspect, the second was readdress, which was restitution of cultural properties. And that's what has been quite a struggle for India. We know due to imperialism, due to smuggling, due to trafficking, all kinds of properties from India have, trans been, have been traveling abroad and transferred outside the country. Thus, readdress became really a very important context of connecting us all. Because when we are talking about uh, the culture, and we are also talking about cultural heritage, for some people it's only um, auctions, the values, the physical money part. But for a whole lot of us, this is about ethos, values, existence, soulful connects, and more importantly, the physical connective with the ultimate spiritual uh, being and thus restitution of our cultural artifacts has been very very important this lambari exhibition showcases the value of i mean this g20 the first time had uh, women led development at its core also and lambari showcased how important it was that women artisans get uh, recognized and fortunately, in Ministry of Culture, there are a whole lot of women in very important positions who are doing a great job. So I recognize all of you. Uh, not to say that men were not working, men were working equally hard, but to see so many women coming together and working together is another cause of celebration. And not because both MEA and culture were such important uh, uh, limbs of G20. Uh, and I can only say, I'm. I'm grateful to my government and especially to the Prime Minister's office that uh, one could take part, one could participate in all these events and documenting all this work has been quite a huge task and we also we also understand that how all this work has happened. Um, thank you all, thank you very much. Let's continue to do the good job together and work like a team. 
so that our efforts bring a uh, lot of pride to our country and we take a lot of pride in our heritage. The, the punch front, one of them is uh, taking pride in our heritage and culture and work for the uh, work for the unity of and integrity of this country. I think through this cultural showcasing, we could fulfill the two promises of connecting through culture, of um, uh, being unity and integrity, and also uh, taking pride in our heritage and culture and work of our ancestors. With these words, thank you very much. Jai Hind. भारत में इस बार जब से भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार बनी है तो कल्चर में बहुत ज़्यादा खास ध्यान दिया जा रहा है और जी ट्वेंटी वॉज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट मेगा इवेंट फॉर द कल्चर इसके ऊपर आप क्या कहेंगे देखिए सांस्कृतिक विरासत पर गर्व करना किसी भी देश के लिए बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है क्योंकि जब आप सही चीज़ों से प्रेरणा लेंगे तभी आप देश की सभ्यता संस्कृति को लेकर आगे बढ़ पाएंगे जब आपकी आत्मीयता और आपका कॉन्फिडेंस अंदर से समाप्त हो जाता है तो आप टूट जाते हैं और टूट जाएंगे तो देश को तो छोड़ ही दो आप अपने अपने लिए नहीं खड़े हो पाएंगे तो कहीं ना कहीं बहुत सारे इतिहास में गिरने के पल भी इस देश ने देखे हैं और गिरकर याद रखने के पल भी इस देश ने देखे हैं लेकिन 550 वर्ष बाद जो मंदिर बना है उससे एक बात स्थापित हो गई है कि जो पब्लिक मेमरी है वो बहुत बड़ी है और वो पीढ़ी दर पीढ़ी इस देश ने उसको जारी रखा है और चाहे वो क्राफ्ट की बात हो चाहे स्कल्पचर्स की बात हो चाहे पेंटिंग्स की बात हो चाहे लिटरेचर की बात हो वो सब इम्प्रिंट्स हज़ारों साल पुराने जो हैं वो आज भी दिखाई देते हैं जो चीज़ें हम सिंधु घाटी सभ्यता के समय पर बनाते थे वो आज भी बनाते हैं जो पुरातत्व मंदिर हम पहले बनाते थे उसी उसी स्किल और ट्रेनिंग से आज भी पत्थर को गढ़ना जानते हैं तो ये हमारी परंपराएं ऐसी हैं कि जिस पर गौरवान्वित होना है देश की एकता और अखंडता के लिए कार्यरत भी रहना है और जी ट्वेंटी एक ऐसा उत्सव था जिसमें ख़ास तौर पर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स और कल्चर मिनिस्ट्री की सहभागिता हर जगह थी लेकिन जो जी ट्वेंटी है वो होल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट अप्रोच है सरकार के सभी विभाग उन्होंने मिलकर काम किया विभिन्न राज्यों ने काम किया देश के हर जन ने इसके लिए काम किया और उसका जो असर है जो टीम एफर्ट है वो दिखाई दिया और इसकी वजह से ही जो जी ट्वेंटी की जो सक्सेस हुई जो उसको इतनी ख्याति प्राप्त हुई उसके लिए टीम एफर्ट महत्वपूर्ण था और उसी की वजह से ये हो पाया लेकिन होल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट में मैं यही कहूँगी कि जैसा एक हमारे अफसर ने भी बोला कि बीस ड्राफ्ट बनते थे तो एक अप्रूव होता था तो प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में जो परफेक्शन हमने दिखाया है तो एक बात पक्की है कि कोई भी दुनिया का इवेंट हमें करना हो हम ऐसी हर चीज़ के लिए तैयार हैं मैम कल्चर ने टूरिज्म को बहुत ज़्यादा बूस्ट दिया है देश के तो इस चीज़ का देश की अर्थव्यवस्था पर कैसा असर पड़ रहा है देखिए कल्चर जो है संस्कृति अपने आप में एक बहुत बड़ा आर्थिक विकास का हिस्सा बनता है और कारण बहुत स्पष्ट है कि जब भी आप कुछ चीज़ बनाते हैं देखिए लंबाड़ी आपने कुछ कढ़ाई के पैचेस बनाए आपने कोई ऑब्जेक्ट्स बनाए आपने कुछ सामान बनाया कुछ भी किया तो वो कोई खरीदेगा खरीदेगा तो अर्थव्यवस्था बढ़ेगी तो ये वोकल फॉर लोकल एंड लोकल फॉर ग्लोबल ये भी दिखाई देता है और इसका असर चाहे खादी के रूप में देखें चाहे हमारी एम्ब्रॉयडरीज के रूप में देखें चाहे अन्य शॉल्स मतलब किसी भी चीज़ को उठा लीजिए आपको सब जगह भारत की छाप दिखाई देगी थैंक यू मैम